In this lesson, we are going to install the tools that we need in this course. What we need to install is a code editor, a web browser, and Node.js. Let's install them together. For code editor, go to this address, code.visualstudiocode.com slash download. And here, based on your operating system, select the right option. If you are using Windows, click on this icon. In my case, I'm going to install Download Mac. When you click on the download button, you will be redirected to a new page and a new file will be downloaded here. For Mac OS, it's super easy. Just you double click on the downloaded file and it install it in your computer. But for Windows, here are the steps. What you need to do is to double click on that file. You will have a dialog like this. Click on next to go to the license agreement and then click next again to select the installation location. And after that, you will get a question for creating shortcuts. And the last screen is selecting additional task. Select the default options and click next until to the end and then click on install. After a while, VS Code will be installed on your computer and by clicking on finish, while launch Visual Studio Code is selected, you will have a window like this. That's it. The VS Code is installed on our computer and it's time to install some extensions for VS Code, which makes coding much faster and better. We are going to use bracket pair colorizer to find it, just type bracket, and you will have this option, bracket pair colorizer 2, and click on install, because I have already installed it. I have uninstall button, but you need to click on install button. The next one, type ES7 React Redux here, and you will have this extension, click on install. The next one is ESLint. It just shows the errors of your code and install it. The next one is JavaScript ES6 code snippet. Like always, to access to this one, you need to type JavaScript ES6. And as you see, you will get as a first option this and click on install button. And the last one is prettier. Just type prettier in this text box, select this and click on install buttons. By having this extensions for VS Code, you can code faster and easier. Let's go for web browser. For web browser, we want to use Google Chrome in this course because it has a lot of options for developers to make web development much easier and faster. To install it, Go to this address, google.com slash chrome, and click on download chrome button. Based on your operating system, a file will be downloaded, and by double-clicking on it and following the instructions, you will have VS Code on your computer. If you are using Windows, here are the steps to install it. After clicking download button and downloading that file here, you need to open the file if you are using Internet Explorer. And for next step, you will have a dialog like this. You need to confirm it. Click on yes in the user account control. And after that, uh, installing progress will appear like this. And after that, you will have VS Code icon on your desktop and in your programs folder and you can access it from start menu. That's it about the VS Code and the last tools that we are going to use in this course is Node.js. We need Node.js to create React application and also to create backend for advanced lessons. To install it, go to this address, nodejs.org slash en and you will be redirected to this screen. Select this one, I mean the version that is higher. In my case, I'm using 16, but in your time, it may be higher. 
and after clicking on it a new file will be downloaded and by double clicking on it and following the instructions you will have node.js on your computer for node.js you may need to restart your computer to apply changes and you should be able to use it in your computer if you are using windows here is the steps after double clicking on the downloaded file you will have a dialog box like this click on next and then for license agreement select i accept and click on next in the next step select the default destination folder and also default options in custom setup and at the end just click on install at the end you will have node.js on your computer at this time you need to restart your computer and then open visual studio code from terminal menu select new terminal and here enter node dash v and press enter you will see the version of node.js in your computer for yours it may be v16 it doesn't matter both of them are correct 14 and 16 and we are ready to start developing react application at this point let's go for the next lesson to create react app